That's me swabbing the DNA of a stingray so I could clone it in my DNA laboratory. Long story short, I was super bored in my cloning lab and thought, let me go to the zoo so I can find an animal and use its DNA to clone it. So I'm walking around the zoo and seeing a stingray. The thing looked absolutely amazing. It looked even super friendly like it wanted to be cloned. So I take my cloning kit out my pocket and I'm ready to swab its DNA and it comes right up to the top to give me the perfect swab so I can get its DNA right on that Q-tip. And I swabbed it right off the top of its head, which is the best place to clone a stingray, and put it in my chemical grade DNA case. And went straight back to my laboratory in Los Angeles, California. I first put the DNA swab onto an agar plate and put sterilized 437 chrome solution on top. I then put it under a microscope to make sure the DNA was alive, and yes, it was moving perfectly to be cloned. I then put blue phosphate nucleotides on top to separate the DNA. I then placed it in a ribose cylinder and heated it up to 150 degrees. I then placed the DNA in a saltwater incubator. This is the stingray at only three weeks old. 